What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to Tools and Tech. I have another fun video for you guys today. I'm going to be reviewing the H. Jinka Beard Apron and it just comes in this nice little carrying bag here. Uh, this retails for $10 on Amazon at the time of making this video. I'll have it listed for you guys down in the description if you want to uh, check it out. I had no idea that these, th uh, that these existed a few weeks ago, uh, but anytime I would trim my beard, you know, I got tired of clogging the sink and my wife apparently knew about these and was like, you should try one out. Um, yeah, so I tried it. It worked really well, kept the hair out of the sink. Pretty awesome. Anyway, let's jump into the review. First, let's talk about everything that this comes with. So of course you get the carrying bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'll show you guys everything. I've only used this once so far, so it's all still pretty clean and everything. So you have the beard apron. And I'll just, uh, put some B-roll in this video as well of uh, me using this, but just so you can see it kind of roughly. <laughs> so there's the apron. Then you get uh, the suction cups. So these are used for attaching this to the mirror. Yeah, so you get three suction cups. You only need two of these, and then the third one's just kind of an extra one. That way if one messes up, you have another. And then you also get the carrying bag, which has a zipper on it. Looks like it's not uh, super good quality. It's already kind of falling apart, if you guys can see the threads there. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's the bag, zipper on top. That's everything that it comes with. The way this thing works is pretty simple. You just Velcro the apron around your neck, then you attach these suction cups to your bathroom mirror. Also, these suction cups are really strong, so you don't have to worry about them falling off. And then you just hang the apron onto the suction cups and you're ready to go. Then whenever you're done, you can just dump this into the trash can or take it outside, shake it out, whatever you want to do. And then now you don't have to worry about clogging your sink anymore. Let's go over some of the pros and cons. We'll talk about the pros first. The material that this is made of is really slick, so the hair comes off of it easily. You know, I just basically just dumped it into a trash can, then took it outside and shook it. And it didn't even really need wash, like all the hair came off of it pretty much. Um, you may have to wash it after using it a few times, but after just once, uh, it was still pretty clean. Uh, time will tell how long this thing was, will last, but after the first use, I'm pretty impressed with the thing. Uh, I only have one con, and that's really the fact that you have to be basically right in front of your mirror the entire time. So just be sure you have everything you need to trim your beard, you know, right there next to you within arm's reach, because once you, you know, attach those suction cups and you hang the beard apron up, you're kind of stuck right there in front of the mirror for a little while, uh, which is fine. It, you know, it's a really simple design, um, but just be aware of that. You kind of have to have everything within arm's reach, because you're going to be uh, trapped in one area uh, until you're done, basically. All right, that's all for the pros and cons. I think that's going to wrap it up for this review video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget it's listed down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. This was just kind of a uh, fun, quick video, probably the shortest video I've ever made on YouTube. Uh, but anytime I discover a new product uh, that kind of makes my life a little bit easier, I always want to share it with you guys. This thing was pretty cool because like after I was done trimming my beard, there was no mess on the sink. Didn't have to worry about the sink being clogged. You know, it's cool to be able to fix a clogged sink, but it's even nicer if you don't clog it in the first place, right? All right, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're shooting for 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're at 256 uh, at the moment that I'm filming this, so over a quarter of the way there, just barely over. But I'm excited. I uh, have a lot of plans for the channel this year, uh, a lot of videos coming out. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.